Okay, today I'm going to show you how to download an SRT or subtitle file and sync it up to your movie. So this is when you have a movie, let's say a, a movie like Moby Dick, and you have the MP4 file but you have no subtitles, and you want subtitles with your movie, you don't want to burn into your movie, you just want a separate subtitle file, and you want to be able to play your movie and see the subtitles. That's what this video is about. Okay, so uh, I'm going to teach you how to do that. And there are three cases, and I'm going to go over each case. Case one is the simple case. I'm going to teach you how to download the subtitle file, put everything into the same folder, name everything correctly, and it will all work, and you'll be done. Case two is you do everything like you're supposed to in case one, but when you download everything, you find out that your subtitles are not synced up with the movie. In other words, they're late or early. And I'm going to show you how to shift them Let's say they're late by four seconds. I'll show you how to shift them earlier by four seconds so that they sync up exactly using a certain tool that's available on the internet. And case three is the most complicated case where not only are the subtitles off by a few seconds, but it's not even consistent. At the beginning of the movie, they might be off three seconds, and at the end of the movie, they might be off six seconds, and you're going to correct both things at once using, again, a tool that's available on the internet. So now, let's start out with case one, the simple case. Okay, for case one, you can see I have this folder. The folder is called Moby Dick Case One. And if I open up that folder, I see I have a movie called Moby Dick 1956.mp4. But I don't have any sort file. I don't have any subtitle file, so I need to get that now. And the way I will get that is by opening up this website, subscene.com. So I open up this website, subscene.com. And I'm going to search for Moby Dick right here. I already did it, so I'll just repeat Moby Dick. And then I'm going to look at what the results are. The one I want is Moby Dick 1956. I click on that. And then I'm going to get a bunch of uh, subtitle files. I'm going to pick an English one, of course. And you can see there's many English subtitle files. I don't know which one to pick. Maybe if you know the format of your movie, you can pick the right one. If not, just pick one here. So I'm going to pick one right there, and I'm going to say download this English subtitle. And I download it. And, uh, and it's been downloaded right here into this zip file. Okay, so let's take a look at this file now. Let's go in, let's go to my downloads. And you can see the file right here. It's in a zip file. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to say extract. You need the zip software, of course, but most people have that. So I extract it. And uh, now I have it. I'm going to delete the original zip file so there's no confusion. And now I have this sort file. It's in the wrong place, though. I need to put it on my desktop. And then I'm going to move it into uh, into the, my Moby Dick Case 1 here. And then I'm going to open that up. And now you see I have the two uh, files. I have the original Moby Dick 1956, and I have this new file, the Moby Dick sort file. But they're not the same name, of course. And in order for VLC to know that the one file belongs to the other, they have to have the same name exactly. So I'll just rename them both MD from Moby Dick. So I'll rename that MD.MP4, and I'll rename this one MD.sort. And now I'll start up this file with my VLC player. VLC is my default. So we're starting up the, uh, the movie, and we'll see if it works. I'll go into the movie a little bit. You, ain't no objections to sharing the you can see it's perfectly him. synced up. I'll go to the end of the movie, look for some text. And all. All. All save one shall follow. And you can see it's perfectly synced up again. So we're done. Uh, case one, everything is synced up. We downloaded our file. You can now watch your movie with the, with, with the subtitles, and we're all done for case one. Okay, now I'm going to go to case two. So I have this folder called Moby Dick case two. And you can see in this folder, I've already downloaded the sort file. And we'll try playing the movie and see what happens. So I'm going to play the movie. And it's, I'm going to, let's watch what happens. Call me Ishmael. First he says, call me Ishmael. And four seconds later, you see the subtitle. So the four, subtitle is four seconds late. That means we have to shift it four seconds earlier. Okay, that's a negative number. Shifting it earlier is a negative number. Making it later is a positive number. So we're going to have to shift it four seconds earlier. 
So let's see what, now you could, you have to count or use a stopwatch or you can go into the subtitle file to see the times. The easiest way is just to, to count or to use a stopwatch. Okay, so how am I gonna, um, how am I gonna do this now? I'm gonna use this uh, website called subshifter.bitsandbytes.eu. It's a weird name. That's what it's called. I go to that website. It's a very nice website. I bring it up. And it's going to have this thing here. It says, choose the file that we want to uh, sync, resync. So I'm going to choose the file. And you have to navigate to the file. But since I already did it before, I went right to the right file, which is nd.sort. That's the one I want to resync. So I choose it. And then you notice that it says, I've chosen the file MD sort. And it was four seconds too late. So I want to make it four seconds earlier. That's a negative number. So I go minus 4.0, because I'm going to resync it four seconds earlier. And I go resync. And now the file is going to be downloaded. And I'm done. So I'm done with that file. So I, I'm finished with this. I close it out. And now let's look in my download area. Uh, Let's see. Downloads. Here's the new file right here. I'll bring it to my desktop. So there's the new sort file, which has been synced up. Here's the old one over here. I'll move the old one to the desktop for now. Move the new one in. And now I'll resync it. I mean, I'll rename it. Rename to just MD, md.sort. OK. And now let's try playing the movie again. So I'll start up the movie. Here it comes at 2.15. Call me Ishmael. Ah, and you see it's perfectly synced up. Let's go to the end of the movie and see if it's still synced up. I spent my last breath at thee! Okay, you can see it's perfectly lined up. That's a good movie, Moby Dick. Okay, so it's perfectly lined up. You've done it. And we're finished with case two. Okay, now we're going to go to case three. And hopefully you'll never have to deal with case three. If you find that uh, your subtitle is that badly skewed, it's really better to try to download another subtitle file. But there are times when uh, your movie is is just different than the other than the subtitle files, and uh, you got to use this method. It's happened to me. So case three is when not only is the is the subtitle time shifted a little bit. But they're not even consistent. They, they tend to be different in different parts of the movie. They tend to grow or shrink the difference in time between the actual subtitle and when they actually say it. So let's look at, uh, let's look at this case three for a second. Let's start up our movie here. And uh, I'm going to start up, and you're going to see where he says, call me Ishmael, and then you'll see a delay, and then you'll see the subtitle. Call me Ishmael. And about four seconds later, you see the subtitle. Now let's go to the end. Let's go to the near the end of the movie and find something, find some talk there. All save one shall follow. All save one shall follow. Okay, let's look. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then much later it says all save one shall follow. Okay. Sorry it took me so long to do that. Let's cut out our movie now. So you can see it's not even consistent. So now what do we have to do to fix this? What we have to do is we have to go into the actual sort f file. Uh, and this is just simply a text file. And we have to look for the times at the beginning of the movie and the end of the movie. So let's go into this file now. And uh, you can see at the beginning of the file, it says, call me Ishmael. And it comes on at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. 0.336. And if you go to the movie, you'll see that it actually comes on at, the voice actually comes on at 2 minutes and 15 seconds. So you have to write these figures down. In the movie, in the file, it's 2 minutes and 19.336. And in the movie, when he actually says it, when he actually says the words, it's 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And now we're going to, uh, we have to search for some text at the end of the movie. So I already have some picked out. I'm going to say, Show your Trump. And here it is down here near the end of the movie. Show your Trump. And you have to write down the time again. It's 1 hour, 44 minutes, 11 seconds, and 0.554 of a second. 
And then again, you go into the movie and you look for when they actually say that and you write that time down. So now you have four times. Uh, and now you're going to go, if we can close this now, and now we're going to go to our special site over here. Uh, subshifter.bitsandbytes.eu and this time we're going to use the linear correction. Okay, so first we have to choose the file and you see it's Moby Dick case 3 MD sort. We're going to choose that. So we've chosen that file now and now we're going to put the first time which is the first file time, the first time we saw in the file. And we're going to put that in as 0 hours 02 minutes and 19.33 seconds. And that's going to be shifted to when we actually saw it okay in the movie which we wrote down and it came to 02 colon 15 dot zero 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 okay and now we're going to go to the next thing and this is the time in the file at the end of the movie in the file which is a one hour 44 minutes 11.554 seconds and the second time is the time that actually came in the movie which is one hour 44 minutes and two seconds and you can see at the beginning of the movie there's roughly a four second difference but at the end of the movie there's a roughly a nine second difference so this is going to resync everything by putting in these four numbers. So I'm going to resync now. Okay, and it's been, you didn't see it, it was off the screen, but it's been downloaded. So I'm going to get out of this and I'm going to go to my download area over here. And there's the file that's just been resynced. Now I'm going to take this file, the original one, the bad one out. I'm going to put the good one in. I'm going to change the name. And now we'll try running it again. I feel like knocking people's hats off in the street. Whenever it's a damp, drizzly the November the movie, in my soul, it's totally I know that it's up. high time to get to see again. Let's go to the end of the movie. Any Hey, and you can see at the end of the movie again, it's perfectly synced up. So now we've done this. We've synced up this badly out of phase subtitle file, and we've made it perfect for this movie. Okay, that's it. Case one, two, and three. Hopefully you only have to do case one. But at least you know how to do it if the other cases need to be done. That's it. Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.